TGMC Community Sports Institute, Comprehensive Care. All right, we're here at the Coach Duga at Thibodeau High School. So uh, how are you looking on the season so far? Uh, it's been pretty good. It's been, uh, it's been pretty wet. You know, that's been part of the problem for us is the amount of uh, outdoor practices that we've had uh, due to all the weather that we've had in the past few weeks. Uh, we, we seem like an arena football team these days that we practice in, in the gymnasium. seems like we, if we practice in there more than we get into practice outside. Uh, conditioning is a little bit of a concern right now due to the lack of outdoor practices, but so far so good. We had a good scrimmage last week with South Terrebonne. Uh, we came out uh, with, with only one injury. Uh, we don't know if it's a major injury yet. It's a uh, separated shoulder. Uh, one of our linebackers, Holden Benoit, was injured, and uh, he's going to get an MRI this week, and hopefully that result will be favorable and we'll get him back soon. I see. What have you, I guess, what have you been stressing for the team over the summer? What have you all been, is there anything in particular you all been working on? Uh, the big thing for us is we're a high tempo offense, so the big thing for us is conditioning. Like I said before, uh, we, we spent a lot of time this summer trying to get stronger and faster and, of course, uh, ramp up our conditioning a little bit. I found last year uh, some of the shortcomings for us were strength. Uh, strength was a big shortcoming because I looked at some of the opponents that we played last year, Mandeville in the playoffs and uh, Destran and Hanville, the, you know, some of the teams that we lost to. And uh, I just feel like we got out physical in some of those games. And uh, physicality and strength was a big thing for us coming into the summer. And I feel like we got a lot of that accomplished. Our strength coach, Mike Young, did a great job with those guys this summer. And I feel like we've made some, uh, some steps in the right direction toward getting stronger. And now we just need to get ourselves in condition to be able to be a high-tempo offense and wear those guys down and uh, take over games and, and, you know, just wear people out to where uh, we're in the fourth quarter and we're, we're taking over the game. I see. Uh, I guess has the team set any goals for the upcoming season? Is there any, any number y'all looking at or is it just? Well, I mean, basically, and, and, and we probably got the same goal as everybody else. First of all, we want to make the playoffs. That's, that's, that's the biggest goal for us. We've made the playoffs, I think, uh, the last three consecutive years. And uh, we want to continue that, continue to be a playoff team. Another goal, big goal for us is to continue to advance in the playoffs. Uh, we, you know, last year went out early in the first round, year before. We won a game, went out in the second round, the year before that. We were a first round team. So we kind of want to be a team that advances. We want to be a Thanksgiving type team, a quarterfinal team, possibly a semifinal team. Uh, another goal would, would obviously be a district championship. Somebody eventually has got to try to dethrone Destrahan. I mean, Destrahan's won three in a row. Well, we've been second. Uh, we've, we've always been a bridesmaid, not a bride. So hopefully uh, this year can be our year maybe uh, to dethrone those river schools and uh, become a district champion.